previously on Vagabonds. Artificial intelligence is not supposed to have the level of autonomy that you guys have given Pixel. And I pull this thing out and it's like... Is it like a baby Bjorn? <laughs> yeah, it's like a baby Bjorn and I'm like... Oh god, the indignity! You didn't really expect to see this person ever again. It's Sherilyn, project manager from Extrasolar Energy. Oh my yeah. god! Just... She took our advice! Wait, parents signed away their children's life? I mean, they got paid. But what about the kids? Oh, they became individual contributors and they got jobs at Extrasolar Energy. At least that's how it's on paper. You mean slaves? Twelve episodes in and we finally get to talk about Jane being an archaeologist. <laughs> <laughs> it's finally relevant. <laughs> I have so many feelings! Oh god. No. She's crying this is, again. This is not the time. And I'm joined again by Oceans 3 over here. I'm Mike and I play Bo. Still, he's still alive. <laughs> I'm Megan and I play IO Jewel, and I think you're giving us far too much credit. <laughs> uh, I'm Perry and I play Jane, and I have died at least once. <laughs> True. That we know about. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Can I ask a question? No. You ask a lot of questions, Not allowed. but yes. Um, just to establish for the record, because I wasn't sure. Um, RC, is it is it is it they? Is it is it he? Is it yeah. she? Okay. RC is a they. Okay, just wanted to be sure. RC is a cola. Yes. It, that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, when last we left you guys, uh, Harlan had unrolled a map of the extrasolar energy. Uh, tower, which or rather plans, I should say, rather than a map. Um, and with the help of uh, Sherilyn, who was the project manager on your failed contract with Extrasolar Energy, uh, you guys were starting to talk about doing some sort of a heist. Maybe. I played Grand Theft Auto. I know how this is going to go. <laughs> we can go in the loud way, or the smart way. <laughs> or the quiet way. <laughs> I always did the smart way. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> the smart way seems smarter, honestly. And fun. Basically what uh, the goal of this operation is, is to get your hands on some information that is stored in Antoine Colombo, CEO of Extrasolar Energy, uh, in his computer. Oh shit, I thought the goal was just to get to Antoine Colombo, which I mean... N no, no. We want to take down the man. Uh, yes. Oh, I I definitely want to take down the man. You can okay. You can also take down the man physically. <laughs> the thing that <laughs> the man and the building, preferably yeah. with a gun. The thing that Harlan and Sherilyn want is the information that's on his computer that would implicate him in basically slavery, which in Jupiter, the kingdom of Jupiter, is illegal. Hmm. Um, and that's where Io, the moon, is. So Harlan is kind of pointing at various points on the blueprint. So sort of a side view of the building as well as different, like, uh, all of the various fl uh, floors, or at least some of the more significant ones are on this blueprint. Um, so the tower itself is 50 stories tall. There is a penthouse office, which is Antoine's office. It's got, you know, a small apartment. It's just basically a large, very ostentatious office which is guarded at all times by two human guards who stand outside. And there is an elevator that is the only way to get in and out of this room. And it is only functional when Antoine is physically in the building. Uh, at the midpoint, uh, the 25th floor, there is a security floor, which takes up the entire floor. There is a team of about... Uh, five to ten guards at any time in the in the security floor 
It is also the, the place that houses the artificial intelligence that runs all of the drones, all of the security systems, all the security cameras. Uh, there is also a brig and a weapons locker and a break room. Um, there's a security elevator that goes up and down the entire building as well as the like fancy glass elevator that you guys went in and out of. And there are also security outposts at the like one quarter and three quarters points uh, on those floors uh, that have just got two or three guards. These guys have got body armor on. And they've also got a weapons locker and they have access to the security elevator. Two questions. Yes. Can we assume that RC can take care of technology stuff, like the security systems, the cameras? RC's like, yeah, I got a, I got a pretty good handle on that shit. Okay, question like, two. Yes. What's the snack situation in the cafeteria? Mostly healthy stuff, Boring. Uh, but Bullshit. they do occasionally have some good junk food. Perfect. Brought in. All right. Um, and pizza. Uh, pizza. Space pizza. Friday is every, every Friday is pizza, space pizza day, yeah. Okay. The uh, other area that might be are a couple of other areas that might be useful there's the lobby that you guys saw it's this like a huge glass atrium there's like a water feature mm -hmm. there's the front desk with a small security desk that has one or two dudes at all times uh and there aren't any mines in the facility but there is an underground r d facility that is an old sort of expent mine expent expended mine uh which is reachable through the elevator but has uh, protected access Sherilyn's badge will get her to basically all of the office floors. So like 2 through 49, but not uh, the tower or the penthouse office or the R&D area. Um, and basically anything beyond that is negotiable. So there's stairs, right? We'll just take yes. the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> all of the stairs. What floor are we trying to get to again? 25? Well, that's where the security just like security offices, correct? Yeah, that's the midpoint. Yeah. Oh, you guys have no, none of you guys have ever played Final Fantasy 7 either, huh? Cuz now no. I'm like this is like when you infiltrate the Shinra building. Do you want to take the stairs or just fucking smash in through the front doors and see what happens? <laughs> front doors and hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that the front door was an option. I I always did the stairs, but it, you know, took an hour. Yeah. Harlan wants us to get information to take down extra solar, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, the information that they need is in Antoine's office on his computer, which, when it is not in use, is, like, physically disconnected from the, like, hardline cable. Okay, his computer's uh, disconnected and he's not there. Yeah. That's what I exactly. Okay, I, I, that's what I couldn't remember if it was when... Yeah, okay, perfect. And yeah. then, I think... Which is why RC hasn't been able to just hack into it. Right. And then I think we also have a side mission of also take down Antoine. Yes. It, yes. Okay. That would. That's like under the personal goals list, as that's opposed like to like the <laughs> team secret list. team mission. Yeah. 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 All right. Perfect. Um, so that's sort of a rough layout of the of the building. Uh, have at it. Cool. So, Bo. Uh huh. Jane. As I look down at Jane and the baby Bjorn. Uh, I don't know how you two are feeling about it, but I'd really like to, um, I don't know, maybe cause some permanent damage to uh, Antoine? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, do you mean permanent damage as in, like, loss of life, or permanent damage as in, like, loss of m mobility, bodily functions, limbs, etc.? I'm open. Sanity. San Ooh, that's <laughs> a good one, too. That is a good one, Jane. I like where your little uh, fuzzy head is. I hang out with you guys too much. We're starting to uh, rub off on you, aren't we? Great. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I spaced out. Bo, you're uh, your friend, Harlan. Uh-huh. Would he take kindly to us, you know, harming the big man up top? Uh, you guys are sitting at the same table as him right now. I'm like whispering. I'm trying to be okay. quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're all uh, drinking, so who knows what what will be remembered after the heat of the mm. moment. My response will be as follows: as I go into my character voice, uh, <laughs> you know, he. I think the bottom line is what's important to him. So he might kind of 
get a little upset, but at the same time, I got, I feel like he probably feels the same way as I do, which is, you know, if something happens to Mr. Columbo, uh, we'll call it, uh, collateral damage, perhaps. Okay. So, it might be frowned upon, but I don't think we'll get into, you know, any, any more trouble than we already have. Let's put it that way. <laughs> That's a low bar. Well, seeing as they already sent assassins after us, I think, uh, yeah. What are they going to do, send more assassins after us? I mean, they could. Uh, yeah, they definitely can. That's definitely um, a possibility. I mean, we got out of that just fine, right? And I mean, I have enough of my own problems to deal with. Chad, the teddy bear head just slowly turns to look at you. Uh, like one fine. eye is still missing. That's like, never going to a get. Of stray threads like poking out. Norm, that, that's just. Uh, I'm not going to get used to that ever, Jane. When do you get a real body back? The teddy bear head like slowly <laughs> turns back to look at you. It takes a while. They're expensive and hard to build. And mine Great. Are, uh, mine are more expensive than your average casing in order to help me pass as human. Oh, we got a high roller over here. <laughs> oh, it's not my money. <laughs> Miss Big Books. I'm just an archaeologist. <laughs> I think you're a little more than that. You're a friend. Can I have, mm. can I have more scotch? No, you're cut <laughs> off. And I'm not carrying you around in this anymore. I'm not doing it. Do you just, like, upend me onto the table? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the I, like, haphazardly, out. like, try to pull off the straps. <laughs> get tangled. Yeah. I can't figure this out. Just get out, Jane. <laughs> I, like, Jane, like, clumsily, like, <laughs> I don't know, like, like, cl like I basically like, climb Io's face, and then I just have <laughs> to, like, Damn push it, Jane. backwards off of it and, like, backflop onto the table. I spit, up. like, Jane Teddy fuzz out of my mouth. I brush off my felt. <laughs> Sherilyn, like, scooches over to, like, make room for you on at a chair if you wanted. Um, Jane. I wouldn't be able to see the table from the chair. You could stand on we it. We can get you a booth to see. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sherilyn, why hmm. haven't they, uh, cut your securities yet? They have, but, uh... RC found a couple of back doors. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I mean, it's limited. It's, you know, open offices and, like, supply closets, basically, but... But it's enough. It, it can get you around. It's better than hiding I mean, in a cardboard box. Yeah. It will show up as my name, so we basically have the one shot. Uh, before they probably, you know, send uh, people after me, too. Guys. I know how to do it. Oh? Just mail him a teddy bear. <laughs> I mean, that might work. I mean, I was just thinking we dress up as, like, maintenance crew and act like we're washing the windows or something, but... I mean, we are dead. Ooh, we are dead. <laughs> <laughs> What's our timeline like? How soon did you want to do this? Harlan's like, I mean, ideally before the wedding, but... We got... We got... Oh yeah, Mazel Tov, by the way. Congratulations. Didn't really oh, didn't really come up, you know. I just got a little sidetracked by the whole I get to kill this motherfucker and, you know I I don't really could could this count as the wedding present? I don't really have time to <laughs> Where where are you registered? <laughs> Io just like shakes her head. Who bed bath in the final frontier? Bed Bath and the Great Beyond. <laughs> I was thinking that, but doesn't Great isn't Great Beyond like you know, death? death. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I like the idea of mailing Jane to him, and Samir then Bo and Io going like in. I'm down with that. Yeah, as janitors, just like put like a little floral arrangement with the teddy bear in a box. Yeah, I mean we're Wait, supposed let me do that to be my character voice. But just put a little floral arrangement in the box with me. Yeah, let me get into my character voice, which is the same as my regular voice. <laughs> oh, you caught, you caught the joke, did you? So, actually, here's my other thought. Yes, hmm. perhaps we send Jane as a teddy bear. All fine, well, and good. What, what's that do for us? It's not like she... First of all, she can't reach the doorknobs. 
second, if she could reach the doorknob, she doesn't have opposable thumbs with which to open said doors. Um, Bo? Yes? I, I don't want to uh, put you on blast, as they say, in, in front of your good friends here. Who says that? Um, what? Who says that? Who put... But, but, uh, but uh, listen, there have been a, a number of occasions where um, you were unavailable to assist me uh, and Jane, and you don't know what she's capable of, Teddy or no Teddy. Yeah, d okay, I, I will give you that, but what I'm saying is she cannot open doors. How is she going to let us into places? Jane? What's your entry point? Are you coming in through the door? <laughs> I mean, Are there space to... window washers? <laughs> I can... You want me to break the window? You want me to break the door? Am I going through the floor? I think what's, your, what's your entry point is my new pickup line, by the way. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, I hurt everywhere. Oh, every single I can't associate with you anymore. my whole body just tightened up. All, like, 92 <laughs> of them uh, Holy shit. <laughs> Please don't ever use that. Oh. No one. <laughs> no one ever use that. Uh. If you use that in public, we cannot be responsible for the consequences, which will probably be... You deserve physical. to be punched in the throat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I can open doors, it's fine. I can't type. If you use, like, a pencil or a pen, I'm sure you can. That's actually a really good point. I could do that. You're welcome. <laughs> Pro tip. RC is like, actually, I could probably just give you a thing. Like, a reaches prosthetic. into that pocket and pulls out, like... <laughs> like, basically a USB stick. A space USB stick that you can, like, plug into the computer. Plug this thing and I can basically copy everything. It'll take a couple minutes, but... Yeah. I'll well, have I haven't info. got any pockets, so you're gonna have to hide it in the flowers. That's fair. No, no. It was... That's and Sherilyn fair. goes, <laughs> we could knit you a sweater. Or oh, and suspenders, like corduroy. <laughs> I'm not that great at sewing uh, But we could give it a try I'm still not opposed to just fucking going in Like like literally Just fucking crashing our spaceship Like into say um, Floor 49 Scaling up to floor 50 Wait, Is there a landing pad On the roof maybe Uh it's like this Big like glass structure There is like a small for like personal transport like a, basically the equivalent of a helipad um but you are more the equivalent of like a boat right which would not be so much compatible with a helipad i feel like we'd be shot down as well before like i mean it is a fairly industrial planet so there are ships kind of flying around all the time okay yeah what if we just like parachute down <laughs> <laughs> they don't watch the skies <laughs> Yeah, considering that this is the future where spaceships come out of the skies on a regular basis, <laughs> who would ever look up? Okay, so we infiltrate through the mine oh, all the way Sorry. at the bottom. There's a cat. So we infiltrate... Nope. Oh, It's so much worse than that. It's a spider. No, it's a box. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Scary box. There's a box of cat food next to me, and it's sideways, and one of the flaps just fell open and touched my thigh, and I know <laughs> that I'm in the bedroom by myself. That's terrifying. Mm. <clears throat> so yes, we infiltrate the mine, <laughs> Through the mine all the way at the bottom, and then in... Like a fucking darkest dungeon type adventure. We work our way all the way up to the top. This will take 30 episodes. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you propose, Jane? Other than going to the mine and coming... Basically, 
breaking in downwards so that we could then break out of the place we just broke into to go up? Or unless I'm not understanding how mines work. There's an elevator. No, go ahead. I'm just a bear. <laughs> I clearly don't know. Are you suggesting Pixel fly us over? Drop us down? No, I'm suggesting you guys mail me into the office and I shut some shit down or drop well, yeah, some that, sleeping Well, yeah, that's gas. part of the plan. That That is part of the plan. It's us getting into... It's how do we get to you in the building. And how do you get out? Uh, with my fist. Um. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a Jane solo mission where she goes in by herself. <laughs> and does all of this while Io and I stay at the casino and gamble. No, I like I'm the maintenance idea. What I'm saying is, or you guys could, if you guys sent me in with some sleeping gas, I could put everybody to sleep and you guys come in. Well, we're just sending you to the man himself. I could just shoot him. You could give me a gun. No, well, I, you I don't... don't. you don't get to do that. I get to do that. <laughs> All right, that's fair. I don't really like shooting people anyway. I don't really know how to use guns. Also, I just remembered I don't have opposable fingers. Yeah, you we can't... could again, pencil or pen. I feel like janitor is a good way to go. I think that's probably our best bet. I was like half joking when I brought brought that up, but okay. <laughs> Smear pops up and goes. I mean, we've from some of the security footage we've gotten our hands on, basically uh, Columbus in his office unless he needs to be somewhere else. So, you know, that is another thing you gotta kind of figure out, is how are you gonna get him out of his office if you're gonna do something in it? Oh, we don't plan on removing him from the office. Oh, that's fair. Alright, carry on. Am I correct in that assumption, Bo? Uh, I don't see why we would have to. I mean, we need him to access the system. Correct. And we need him in order for you to make him disappear. As far as I'm concerned, he can stay there. Samir just kind of nods, and Harlan goes, seems like a simple enough way to get around that, yeah? I mean, I have to imagine that maintenance staff has free reign of the building, pretty much. Like, they can probably access anywhere. Sherilyn kind of puts a hand to her chin and like thinks for a second. They've been able to get, they've been able to get places. Yeah, they can get pretty much anywhere. They're basically part of the part of the decor. I mean, no one really pays attention to them. Uh, to be honest, yeah. And she feels a little like awkward about that. <laughs> She's like, yeah, but like, I mean, somebody's got to go in and like water his plants and stuff feed his fish because he's not going to do that i think we're the perfect pair for the job rc's been like typing away and goes oh they uh well you guys are now uh in the system uh, Damn. congratulations on your new promotions A promotion to janitor from at ESE. space I like pirate this one. to janitor perfect moving up <laughs> in the world um we still don't have badges or uniforms for you but you know you're at least in the system so you got some cover there Well, fuck, let's just get to it. I mean, what? it's not exactly like, what What <laughs> contingencies are we going to plan for here? Everything going sideways and nothing working the way it should? Yeah, but that's not something you plan for. That's something that just happens and you roll with it true. As, as things progress. True, yeah. true. I mean, I think if anything, we just need our uniforms. We can worry about the badges once we're once we're in there. Uh, just walk in, go up to the uh, go up to I the desk and say, "Yeah, I'm a new hire. Need my badge." Uh, what what's your fake name gonna be? RC is kind of like looking at you with their finger on their keyboard. You can just call me Io. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be Terry Cruz, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll just we'll go from there. <laughs> How long is it going to take to get Jane sent? J Hold on. Jane. This is the future. This can be like instant. No, yeah, obviously, <laughs> you know, know. we're going to montage the whole thing to the point where it's just <laughs> we're in there. But, Jane. But how are we doing it? Can, mm. Do you need to breathe? Mm mm. Okay. This casing doesn't have lungs. 
So we can just kind of shove you in a box and put you on your way. Nicely. Maybe make me look like a, I mean, give me a bow or something. If you just oh, send me yeah, in there we... with a priest collar, he's probably just going to think that's a little weird. We need to fix that eye, too. Oh, we, should we pin a note to your chest that's like, that says something nice? I don't fucking, I don't know. There's got to be a gift shop around here where they can, like, spruce her up. Someone else? Touching me? I mean, I know it's not ideal. How do you throw yourself up if you don't have fingers? I don't usually spend this much time as a teddy bear. Well... Alright, alright. There's gotta be, like, a stapler or (laughs) some... (laughs) Super glue or, like, a needle and thread somewhere. I'm sure Pixel has something back on the ship. I have the supplies on the ship. I just usually do any repairs with my next casing, but it's going to take a while to get here. Well, we'll, the... we'll patch you up. We'll make you look nice. Yeah, I will patch you up. Thanks, Bo. <laughs> I got clumsy hands. <laughs> Cher Holmes, like, I, I am also, like, fairly crafty. I could probably help. Perfect. Your new best friend. Um, as for how fast I can get there, I was going to say you should just send me by courier, like, with a floral arrangement. That's a wonderful idea. And, like, a little thank you note, as if, like, you know, something that says... Oh, congratulations on killing the crew of the of the Vagabond. Right. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, thanks for killing Bo, signed Anonymous. <laughs> I think that's a terrible, shitty plan that we're going to do. <laughs> Why? What, what could... What could really go wrong, Bo? Did, weren't you the one that was just saying that everything was going to go wrong? No, no, no. <laughs> I was saying it's possible that it could go wrong. Uh, I think nah, it'll, it'll be fine. It's going to go off without a hitch. Everything will be great. We'll get... Uh... Are we getting paid for this? <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking at Harlan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you just said this was a wedding gift, man. Fuck. Okay. Way to go, Bo. Virtue is its own reward sometimes, you know? Plus, you know, revenge. Yeah, well, that too. Sweet, that's... sweet revenge. Yeah. All right. Arlen, let's... by the way, does not seem at all bothered by the talk of, like, getting rid of... Antoine. Uh, Antoine. I assume that would be the case. Like, it just does not bug him at all. He's just like, yeah, that's... If... <laughs> he can't make an omelet sometimes without... Breaking a few lions killing of the CEO. What uh what do you guys say we get the show on the road then? Let's get the shindig started. Yeah, let's Or do we let's, at least wait until tomorrow? <laughs> let's uh, well, let's get Jane spruced up and then send her on her way. And Samir is like, and Bo, I could probably show you a few things, maybe try and channel that fire thing you got going on. If I could become a human flamethrower, I am going to be so pissed that I spent money on a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't, you could. There's your other wedding present, man. For me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your dowry. So, do we head back to the ship and get Jane all patched up and sent out? Yeah. Also, can I send a message to uh, Hargan Dane? You can. Actually, I'm going to wait until we finish everything with Antoine, because I don't want anyone knowing I'm alive. That's fair. But he sent you the money also Post. thinking you were dead, right? Mm-hmm. Well. Like, it's, it was reported that you were true. no longer part mm-hmm. of the living. Holy shit, maybe he's just using you as an anonymous offshore account. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this funny me maybe. spent? She's dead. It's her estate. All right, I'm I'm gonna hold off until after after we finish. Uh, All right, yeah, our our heist. Okay, so you guys will have some time to like do some preparations to do the sprucing up of uh, Jane's teddy bear. Jane bear. Uh, is there anything you guys want to do before you leave the casino? Do oh before we leave the cas- casino. Uh, Aside from like, I presume you are going to spend a little bit of time drinking and a little bit of time maybe gambling. Are there any like? Um, Whatever the equivalent of, like, a television would be, so I can see, like, a newscast to kind of, like, find out what's going on in the world. Yeah, there's probably, like, a like a sports bar area that's got, like, one TV dedicated to the news with the subtitles going on. 
Um, would there be anything of note as far as the emperor is concerned? He did. Oh, that's right! <laughs> he did. <laughs> <laughs> He's very ill. We might have helped to get him a cure. <laughs> uh, no, it's... it's um, he is still alive. He is still doing okay. Uh, he is still deteriorating, but at a fairly slow rate. It's it's one of those like, or sorry, it's probably one of those like he's got six months to a year to live somewhere in that window, and we are definitely not quite at six months any, since the thing was announced. Okay. Any seemingly unrelated reports of sudden monster outbreaks? <laughs> um, not not on the mainstream news now. <laughs> I don't know, so it is going to actually take you guys a couple of days to get from Neptune. I'm going to throw caution to the wind Jupiter. and reach out to Hargan Dane. Okay. And find out what he's thinking. And find out what the fuck? Yeah. While you're at the casino or like during the travel time? Back? During the travel time. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um. So yeah, you guys have a wonderful evening at the casino and you try not to think too much about your plan. Uh, then you guys all get back on the ship. Um, Sherilyn comes with you, and Samir does as well. They kind of, I think there are a couple of spare rooms that they kind of hang out in so that they can spend some time fixing up Jane, who uh, at the end of the next few days looks really just like a, a really cute teddy bear again. You were cute before, too. Less threadbare, let's say. <laughs> Bo, let's make a couple of intelligence checks. Oh, God, why intelligence? <laughs> You're learning how to use a power. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, I guess how are, how how does Bo learn to use his fire power? What does that what does that look like? What shape does that take? It's a lot of intently staring at objects and going fucking fucking light on fire. Do it. Do it. Fire. <laughs> Do it. And then trying to think of things that like upset him greatly, like thinking of thinking back on his past and then thinking of like how worthless he's been in most of the fights, uh, with the crew and all that stuff. Just things that kind of rile his emotions up. And then pointing dramatically at the object and trying to light it on fire again. <laughs> so do let's say do a I haven't actually drawn any guards. I would say do a, you can do a stones check for the, like, gesticulating, a flames check for the, like, concentration, and a brooks check for the, like, thinking about stuff that makes you sad. Check. Okay, so for stones, I got three successes. Okay, I was going to make them, I was going to make the, br uh, the brooks and the stones are going to be level two. Okay, so stones was three. I'll do okay. Brooks next. That's a one. Okay. And then what was the last one? Flames? Yeah, flames. That's, and that's just a one. That's also a two. So yeah, after a lot of practice, you manage to, with like a lot of sort of like, almost like you're a magician, kind of like waving your arms around and being really, really theatrical, you do manage to basically summon like a fireball which you can throw at things. Woo! And I'm giving you a new ability on your character sheet accordingly. Oh, man. Sweet. I can... Did that work? Is it called uh, Hadouken? <laughs> no. It should be called Ritual Caster, although I am not seeing it for some reason. Was it a talent? It might be. I thought I had it as a talent. Yeah, I see it. Ritual Magician. Okay, at the bottom. cool. So yeah, you. congratulations. You are now... <laughs> you now have the ability to throw fireballs, but you do have to spend like some time basically summoning Channel the fireball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Io, while you're um doing your uh your your message, are you doing a video call or are you just like sending an email? I'm just sending uh sending an, an email. Okay. I don't want like my face recorded if at all possible. Alright, no, that's fine. So yeah, like on the last day of the trip back, uh you get a response from Hargan that's just like Holy shit, you're alive? I was, yeah, the, I was getting asked some uncomfortable questions. I needed to borrow your account. I was going to have my bank reverse the transaction in, you know, a couple days. Nothing to sweat about. It'll be out of your hair before you know it. 
Can I withdraw the funds immediately? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> no, no, I think I'll keep the piece. I'll leave it there. Okay. All right. I'll let him take his money back. Okay. And just tell him to remember our deal. Yeah, he's like at his computer, I guess. So he does send you back a message that's basically just like a thumbs up. <laughs> Jane, what exactly does a spruced up Teddy Jane look like? It looks like regular Teddy Jane, except without the singe mark and with the <laughs> eyeball sewn back on. <laughs> and like a big, like obnoxious, like Barbie pink fucking bow tied like a bow tie like around the neck to hide the priest collar which she's still wearing <laughs> does um jane's teddy mouth move move at all or no can it just be like a big stupid grin on your face that you can't remove <laughs> <laughs> It's we could you could put one on. It's not there now, but we could certainly do that for the purposes of spruced up Teddy Jane, like a big felt, like red, like yep. really unsettling. I I whisper to Sherilyn, like, can you can you like put a big stupid dopey grin on her face? <laughs> uh, I was really hoping that you were gonna walk up, like, hey buddy, and you like have your hands behind <laughs> your back, and there's just a big fucking sharpie in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. No, I want this to look legitimate. <laughs> I was picturing like a like a almost like a watermelon slice, but like ha- like someone had overestimated the size, so instead of just being in the front, it like wraps around the side to like of the head. So it's <laughs> oh just God, like that's terrifying. Really yeah, to the point where large. it looked terrifying instead of like charming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's what I pictured. All right. I mean, it is your casing, so you get the final say on on your mouth. Well, I'm supposed to be disguised as a a charming gift. Know, do we want to f- like an edible f- arrangement? Do we want to freak him out with the edible arrangement, or? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I'm okay with whatever you want. Seriously. Yeah. It's your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You're the package. I think just by accident we would get one that's too big. <laughs> Sherilyn's like putting it on, you're like, a little wider please. A little wider. Are you sure? A little wider. A little <laughs> wider. <laughs> Cause Jane has like no idea what looks friendly and what doesn't. She's like, I have to look like I'm the friendliest teddy bear that ever was. Make it as big <laughs> as you can. The more teeth you show, the more charming it is. <laughs> Make sure all 32 you put all 32 white teeth in there. So you guys land at the same spaceport that you parked at the last time you visited Io, the planet. Harlan and RC pull up in their ship and park, you know, a few bays down. Um, And you guys are now on the planet Io. The moon, technically. What do you guys want me to do when I get in his office? Just make sure he doesn't leave? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't make it obvious that you're alive. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Like you fell off the table. Like just play possum. Okay. If he looks in your direction. Okay. It's like Toy Story. This is gonna turn into to, yeah. into some child's play type shit. And your point? Okay. No, no, that nothing. He stays late in the office and it's like dark and he just hears like a choo. <laughs> He's like, what? Sorry, I'm allergic to flowers. <laughs> like the little like. <laughs> Harlan and RC are kind of walking sort of toward you but they're also oh yeah Samir and Sherilyn are kind of going over to meet them and they're basically trying not to be seen you know as a group too often do I have like a sweet janitor jumpsuit now <laughs> uh, you can purchase one yeah there are in fact um, and you would know this from way back in the day there are terminals for individual contributors in the lobby at extrasolar energy so you can trade in your like extra solar bucks for you know goods and sundries do i do i have extra solar bucks rc loaded you guys up with enough to purchase your uniform oh yeah sweet so yeah i go and i buy a jumpsuit 
It's got crews, like, stitched into the front, which I imagine can be done, like, very quickly. And I buy, like, a mop. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm, like, staring at the terminal. Like, do I... All right, so... I got we got to we got to keep the roost going so let me let me try a new voice. <clears> that <throat> oh, shit, I got nothing. All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was just igno ignoring Bo like staring at the terminal like do, should I should I get the extra solar t-shirt instead and maybe the hat and, oh, and you... the mug and the <laughs> Oh, you sh you should get the trucker cap, definitely. The trucker cap? Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah. But there's only enough for, like, the uniform and, and the essentials. Oh, I got extra. He didn't give you all this money. Why do I have so much? What? What? <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll spot you. Um, so I get my uniform. All right. Uh, Jane, where did you go? How are you getting into the package? Oh, we just shoved her into the... a box. And yeah, I'm assuming that they <laughs> shipped me. I had to pretend to be a teddy bear the whole time, like, at the post <laughs> office. All right. She mostly wanted to establish that that had happened. There's like some like there's some like twenty year old guy like who's like shoving boxes like onto like a conveyor belt in the back and he's like <laughs> ah, you just to feel himself. like oh fuck and he like he like <laughs> throws me in. it's like ow call your mother is like, <laughs> <I'm> like... <laughs> um so yeah for you it is basically dark for a for a while we just kept track we 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 uh took down the tracking number and when it said it was delivered that's the day we go and infiltrate <laughs> it was basically like next day should we establish this now like did we give jane some way to communicate with us she has a con uh, yeah it okay comes. okay i just wanted to make sure okay how do you okay i don't want to nitpick but how do you speak if you don't have a mouth because if it's telepathy, how does that work with it's an electronic... It's just a speaker uh, inside a speaker. the teddy bear face. Okay, that's fine. Because I was like, if you're projecting your thoughts into our minds, how is that going to work with an electronic communication device? But never mind. No, it's a speaker. <laughs> it's out loud sounds. Um, so, let's see. So, Jane, you are currently in a box. And Bo and Io, you guys are... Uh, in the lobby at Extra Solar, I assume dressed in your duds. Does that mean I never got unwrapped? Uh, not yet. Alright. I was gonna let them get in the building and then go resolve a couple of things for you. Jane gets impatient and punches her way out of the box. <laughs> no, please don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> Here's Janie! <laughs> Jane takes a nap. <laughs> Little teddy bear snores. <laughs> great it's already going so well <laughs> um so Bo, io what are you guys what are you guys doing so uh i we spoke with rc about making sure that our first assignment on the job is like all right let's let's see what's on the schedule oh clean antoine colombo's office man <laughs> that's crazy for our first assignment Woo! i just got here <laughs> All right. No, like, really, do we have a schedule that we need to follow, or...? Um, it is, technically, it is your guys' first day, so you do still need to check in and, like, get your badges from the security desk in the lobby, uh, and probably talk to your supervisor, otherwise there will be questions. This is based on what Sherilyn told you about her first day. Okay. This is stuff that would be in, like, the offer letter if you had received an offer letter. Okay. Yeah, from there you will, like, you will receive your assignments there. Uh, okay. from your supervisor damn okay so i i do that okay and you just kind of go through and do your thing yeah pick up my badge okay go through like the orientation fill out the the w2 which i'm sure there is none because you know we're all dead indentured <laughs> oh yes um so why don't we may have you guys make a just a level one brooks check just to make sure that you guys pass uh, as ah, normal. It's gone forever. Nope, there it is. I got two, bro. I got, uh, a weave. A weave. Okay. So yeah, you guys both managed to pass as normal. I think, Bo, because you've been here before as, like, part of Extrasolar, like, 
you kind of fit right in. Nobody really notices. You don't seem, you seem like you've been there for a while. Somebody even remarks on it, like at a break in the orientation thing. Um, it's like, hey, it's like you've been here for years. Uh, I know you're a little more gawky. You stand out a little tiny <laughs> bit more, but like you still fit in. Nobody's really doubting that you guys are in fact janitors at this point. And you are now uh, talking to your supervisor who has assigned you the 31st floor latrines. Oh, boy. Yum. What are these, uh... Oh, God, you got the urinal cakes that smell like sandalwood. You should really go with the citrus scented. <laughs> are you saying that to your supervisor? Yeah. Columbo prefers the sandalwood. Well, fuck! I mean, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Douchebag. <laughs> Who likes sandalwood? I bet he fucking likes tea tree oil yeah, and... Asshole. God. <laughs> your, su- your supervisor's just kind of like, it sounds like you've been here before, but I would probably keep that down. Like... <laughs> Somebody might notice and somebody might report it. I'm just, I'm not saying I will. <laughs> hey, listen, I get, what is, I have three warnings. I'll take my first infraction right now. It's fine. <laughs> all right, I was going to give you a warning for your warning, but all right. If you want to be written up on your first day, knock yourself out. Um, I'll, I'll take a warning for my warning. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's fuck, let's go. I gotta restrain. No profanity. Okay. All right. <laughs> At least not while you're on the job and wearing the uniform. I'm just saying. Right. Well, and I just and walk kind of, out right. and like yeah. and go for it. It did occur to me, you guys. Uh, did you try to sneak your weapons in? Uh, got them right here and here. I have <laughs> old righty and lefty. <laughs> well, as a as a man who recently learned how to throw fireballs. Um, I, the only weapon I have is the knife in my boot, and I left my guns behind. Okay. Yeah, uh, I went in without, without a weapon. I'm gonna say, Bo, you can make a Gale's check to try and get through with the boot, the knife boot. The boot and I'm gonna knife. make it a level two, because they do in fact have metal detectors. I got two! Oh, man. So, by some, like... By some miracle, like the the metal detector goes off, and you're just kind of like, oh, I got like a plate in my, I got like screws in my leg, and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. And they buy it, and they don't check your boot out. <laughs> Works for so me. Congratulations. No, I think it's just that. Oh, never mind. That's so mean. What? <laughs> it's gonna be like they're like, dude, we, you need to take your shoes off, but then they like bend over, and it's just oh, like, horrible so foot order. Stinky. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, never mind, you're fine. Um, and you guys kind of hop on the elevator and you take it. It's pretty quick and it takes you up to the 31st floor and you guys are now uh, cleaning one of the bathrooms. The hell I am. It's a very exciting I'm time. I'm actually cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> and I'm Roll just standing watching <laughs> Bo clean. How far do our comms work? Um, I, I imagine they're basically like cell phones, so basically as long as you're sort of on the grid, you can communicate with each other. Okay, so, like, I'll flick, flick mine on and be like, alright, shit, we didn't come up with code names. Bear. You're just, you're just the bear now. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> alright. Is she sleeping? I think so. I kind of want to yell, but I, I feel like they'll hear that. No, no, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. Okay. We are inside. People here don't know how to flush the toilet. It's fucking disgusting. It's filthy. But we are currently on the 31st floor. Uh, we're going to make our way upstairs and, um, shit, how? You can get us in, right? You have, you have that capability? into the office? Yeah. I don't know. I'm still in a box. He hasn't unwrapped you. What an ungrateful piece of shit. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> waiting. What did I do? Uh, can you like... Just stay calm? Can you poke... I'll just, I'll just wiggle the box until it falls off the table. Okay, I was going to say, can you poke a hole in the box so you can see through it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. That's what the punch was. Um, <laughs> yeah, what do I see? You are in sort of a room with like a dark wallpaper. You kind of like look around and you see a couple of the armed guards and you see like basically like an x-ray scanner that you are kind of on the belt going through. Oh, I'm moving? I wouldn't have punched a thing through it if I was moving. Well, you didn't know that. Too late. It was going real slow. (laughs) All right. I lie back down in the box. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to stop moving. Wait, you're moving? (laughs) Wait, are you still being, like, put through the fucking security system or whatever? The fuck? Are they checking for bombs? Are you being screened? Am I being screened? You are being screened. I'm being screened. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> What's so funny? It's like Galaxy Quest in Sigourney Weaver's <laughs> character. <laughs> I have one job. Um, so yeah, after a couple of minutes, um, you sort How of feel... How slow is this conveyor belt? I was going to say, like, it's a, a, all right, it's about a minute. You go, you feel like the thing sort of pass over you, and then some hands kind of pick up the box and move it over and tear it open and there's a security guard who is now reaching around and he sort of says to his partner there were some like comms readings coming off of this one i did wasn't talking in the comms when i went under the thing yeah but it's still active you still have them yeah i I will say you can make a stealth roll a gale's check level two to see uh, if they see anything hinky. I don't like when things out of my control happen. Stop <laughs> it, Graham. Uh, I got two strikes. I got two <laughs> strikes. Oh, shit. Oh, good. That's why I'm not happy. You, you know I rolled like shit. <laughs> um, Ancient Egyptian curse make me roll like shit. So, trying to think of how you would take a strike in this situation. I think it. Okay, yeah. Her arm gets caught in the conveyor belt and gets torn off. (laughs) No, it's not that bad. But, like, while they're looking through, they, like, you know, he's sort of rooting through the box and, like, under the flowers trying to find this comms device. And in doing so, he kind of knocks it on the tape, off off onto the floor. And then, like, while trying to pick it up, kind of kicks you and it's like, oh shit. And then eventually finds the comms and takes those away. You also take a strike. And then he packages everything up and kind of like looks to his butt. He's like, that never happened. If anyone <laughs> asks. And his butt's like, yeah, yeah, no. I gotcha. It's going upstairs. It, it, that never happened. And they seal it back up and they put it in an elevator. And now Jane, so Jane is no longer has comms. Except for the voices. All right. Boy, and... that's not even a joke. <laughs> This is Jane. And that seems like a fun place for us to cliffhanger. What? Hey everyone, this is Mike. Just wanted to pop in and say a quick thank you for listening to our podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. And also, if you could go give us a follow or like or comment, all that good social media stuff on our social medias, we'd super appreciate it. You can find us on Facebook at The Roll Less Taken, roll spelt R-O-L-E, on Instagram at The Roll Less Taken, and on Twitter at Roll Less Taken. I'd also like to thank our friends in the band E57 for the use of their song Stroke off the album Heavy Seas and Smashing Skies for our intro and outro music. You can find that album on Spotify, Google Music, Deezer, Bandcamp, and pretty much any place you can find music if you get a chance uh, make sure you stick around after this outro because we leave some little bloopers and outtakes that you might find enjoyable and we will see you in one week thank you very much and now you know That was a confusing name choice, too, wasn't it? (laughs) (laughs) This was established before we knew what... Because I made my character first, because you guys are a bunch of slackers. And then you're like, 
well, I'm going to name my character Io. And I was uh, like, son false. of a bitch. False. Didn't I make my character first and then give you the card set? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Suck oh, it. you don't remember? <laughs> Suck I it. saw you remember. <laughs> I'm looking at your face. <laughs> <laughs> There's hesitation. <laughs> okay. I almost just threw my phone across the room. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Yeah, right. I read a really good book like that once. So it was actually terrifying. So. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. Make sure to read TikTok by Dean Koontz. Oh, uh, Dean Koontz is pretty creepy. There's a, there was a fucking lore about like a haunted doll that did shit like that that fucked me up for days. Yeah. Annabelle. Yeah. Or being a podcast for those playing along at home. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I know, I know exactly what you're I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure about. they both know that. <laughs> Oh, that was not for them, that was for... I forgot. We can have an audience. Yes. <laughs> for the, the, the people who are playing along at home but aren't on the Skype call. My parents actually saw the doll. Mm. Like, they, they, they went somewhere where it was, like, on display. No thanks. I don't even need to ever be... In the, I don't need to know if I'm ever in the same state with it. <laughs> Same. Yeah, because my dad was trying to tell me about it And I'm like, yeah, there's like a whole Thing around that doll Oh my god No I'm listening to the fucking Oof. I'm listening to the last podcast on the left right now And they're doing the Men in Black episode Okay uh, Which is why I had to get up and close the closet door Earlier <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, back to the, po- back to the, back to the podcast <laughs> 